Hello everyone, it's Saturday, day four of my 30 day live challenge for September. And I decided to go live here in our private group, Gather and Get Moving. Um, I wanted to talk about hope and why there are reasons for hope, why I feel hopeful, even though sometimes, obviously, I feel the opposite of hopeful. Um, uh, I wanted to share with you a awesome interview slash video that I watched yesterday with Del Big Tree, and I shared it in the comments of one of the posts here. Um, but it was just very uplifting, and it was actually titled like "How to Be Brave." And Dell talked about a realization that he had recently uh, within the last couple months. And he had been feeling really frustrated and just like the American people weren't standing up the way he wanted them to. And looking at Europe and looking at protests that they were having and wondering, you know, what is what, America's asleep at the wheel? And then one day he was watching the news and um, a statistic came up on the news that about 49 point something percent of Americans were vaccinated at that point in time. And for him, it was like a sudden realization that so many people are actually making the most important choice, which is to reject the product altogether. And so from that moment on, he kind of realized that he had been brainwashed um, into believing that we are the minority. Um, when in reality, there's a really good chance that we aren't even close to being what they want us to think, like 2%, 5%. Um, and when they talk about those low numbers, it's really the anti-you-know-whatters that they're talking about. but. Just because someone is, um, you don't have to be that, like totally against it to be on the side of medical freedom, obviously. Like there's people in our group here that chose to get the vaccine, but they understand that it should be a choice. Um, so that percentage of Americans is very large. It's just that we are not as loud as the loud minority. So I'm going to link that video and that interview in the comments. It's a very, um, it's, it's pretty religious because the woman, I can't remember her name right now, the woman interviewing him, um, it's got a religious perspective. It, they get into some spirituality stuff, which I actually really appreciated. Um, I thought it was really awesome. And I just want to let you all know that it's still crazy. Like this is a roller coaster. I'm having highs and lows every single day. Uh, today, this week, we've had something really hard happen in our personal life, in our family, that's directly impacting someone in our family. And I, I'm not ready to share it. I need to get permission from some people first before I share with you all. Um, but it's been hard and it's something that's made us all very sad. And even with that going on, I'm also excited. I'm just so excited by the possibilities of right now of our family finding direction and for us to finally find a place to just put down our roots. I just, we're getting closer to that every day and I'm excited about that. And I'm excited by the fact that so many people want to to connect with each other at this point in time and, and are really realizing how important that is. So these are all reasons that I feel hopeful and that things that I remind myself of. So I hope that some of that helps you. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will be live again tomorrow somewhere. So keep an eye out. Bye. Oh, bye Tony. <laughs>